burning red. <sighs> Zowie, you're right, Red. It's pouring rain out there. Wasn't I supposed to do something special today? <sighs> Plant broccoli, carrots. The fifth International Snail Grand Prix! <gasps> it's today! This is the race my champion snail, Trippy, always wins. <laughs> yeah, Red, he'd love another trophy to go with his other four. I hope he's ready for the race. I haven't seen him all week because of the rain. Hello? Go Fred. I don't have a snail yet for the race. And neither does Ellie. Don't worry. I know exactly where to find lots and lots of snails. Great. I'll call Ellie, and then I'll come pick you up. <sighs> now all I need is my umbrella from my rainy day box. <laughs> Ta -da! Trippy! Trippy! Hi, Houdini. Ah, oh, there you are, Trippy. Time to wake up, Trippy. Today's the big day. Hey, champ, are you ready for the race? You seem a little slow. Trippy, you should probably move around a little, like you always do before a big race. Whoa! Trippy! Hi, Gofred. You ready to move? Follow that flying fish! I mean my flying umbrella! Fudge! Gofred! It was incredible! A huge flying fish in the sky! Huge! And Trippy, my champion snail, was on top! Oh, no! That's terrible! We have to find him! Come on, Fudge! Oh, got him, Wind! Now, let's follow that ear. I mean, fish. Uh, the uh, umbrella! Oh, I don't see it anymore! Hey! There's someone waving! Go home now and lock the doors! Why? There was a huge monster fish in the sky! Was it red? Yes! Giant-sized! That's my umbrella! Don't be ridiculous! It was a fish! Why else would it fly toward the lake? Thanks, Hamlet! We'll take care of it! To the lake, Fudge! I can't go fishing with that monster there! They better be careful! I don't care if Trippy races. I just want to find him. <gasps> there it is! Careful, you guys. Watch your step. He could be anywhere. Here he is. Hello, Trippy. Are you okay? That was an exciting ride. He doesn't look like he's in tip-top shape. Maybe the umbrella flight upset his stomach. He'll feel better in a while. He was slow even before his umbrella ride. You guys should look for your snails right here. Tall, wet grass can be full of snails. There, there, Trippy. You'll feel better after a little rest. Go, Fred's right. There are tons of snails here. I hope they're all champions. These snails look great. <laughs> We'll have them do a trial race at your house, and then we'll pick the two fastest ones for the real race. Trippy's not doing any better. I think he needs some of Gino's lettuce-flavored ice cream. That'll perk him up. One lettuce-flavored ice cream and Gino's coming up. Hey, go Fred. Ready to win the Grand Prix again this year? I don't think anybody's snail is gonna beat us, snail. Flash Baloney is the champion from the very big city, and he's gonna beat all comers. Flash Baloney? You don't know our snail. He's the fastest anywhere. None of your snails will stand a chance. Who are they? She's very fashionable, but not very friendly. They're big time professional snail racers who go everywhere and win snail races. Flash Baloney? With a great name like that, I'm sure he's the fastest snail on Earth. There's probably no use in us even trying, especially with Trippy not well. What, you mean he's sick? He's a little slow today. I thought I'd get him some of your special lettuce-flavored... Ice cream! Coming right up, Mr. Trippy! Ahem! <laughs> and now, let me introduce you to Bubblegum! He's gonna be in the race, too! He only eats bubblegum ice cream. What a beautiful... 
beautiful color. He'll probably do really well in the race, too. <gasps> in the race! We gotta go, Gina. Our snails still need their training. Drippy's not eating. I should take him home so he can rest. Oh, no. I, I think I left the bucket of snails at the lake. Oh, no! You left them at the lake? I'm sorry. We can go back. But the race is in half an hour. I need to go home. Drippy is really under the weather. He needs peace and quiet. Well, well then, then, we're staying with, with you. No, you should go find some snails and be in the race and try to win. Okay, we'll take you home first. You can rest a little in the garden, Trippy. I'm gonna get you some delicious fresh spinach from Red. Now what, Fudge? Huh? Uh, oh! Why did you put on the brakes? Look, a snail! I almost squashed it! He's really fast! And there's another one on its back! And the little one's so cute! What strength! Going that fast while carrying another snail? <laughs> I'm gonna call him Braveheart! Don't you think that one's a bit small and kind of lazy? No, he's smart! He was saving all his energy for the race. I think I'll call him Smarty Pants! Nice name! Come on, let's get to the race! Drippy, I just read in my book on snails that when snails are five years old, like you are, they're too old to go in snail races anymore. So you're not sick. You're just getting a little old, and you probably don't want to race anymore. Where are you going, Trippy? I brought you some spinach. Is there something there with you? You look just like Trippy, but smaller. And you're fast. Who are you, little snail? Zowie, Trippy, this, this must be your son. He looks just like you. And he's fast, like a natural-born champion. I'm going to call you Speedy. Come on, you two snails. We still have time to make it to the race. Flash Baloney is the fastest snail on Earth. None of your snails stand a chance. Not even your so-called champion, Trippy, whose owner is probably too scared to show up. Though Fred isn't scared, his snail just isn't well. If you say so. But he and his snail looked scared earlier. He was worried, Mr. Big Arms. Worried about his snail. Sure, sure. So are you gonna start this race? Where are Gofred and Trippy? They won't be coming. Trippy isn't well. It's faster that way. Good, a shortcut. Thanks, Nug Nuts. Mr. Bowler is about to give the starting signal. Ellie's snail refuses to come out of its shell, and Bartholomew can't get his out of the cage. Please, Smarty Pants, come out of your shell. Yay! Come on, let's get this race going. You come out. You're just a bit shy in public. Sorry, I can't wait any longer. What's going on? Yeah, uh, someone's uh, coming. It's Gofret. Here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait. This is Trippy's son, Speedy. He's gonna race. His son? Really? On your marks, get set, go! Flash Baloney is in first place. Oh, Gina is feeding bubble gum with ice cream. Not sure that's allowed. Speedy is making his move, racing just like his father Trippy used to. Our phone has just invented a new technique. Oh, no. A snail throw. All rolling snails are disqualified for not following the rules. But it was an accident! Oh, Bubblegum, I think I fed you too much. It's looking like a Flash Baloney victory. Go, Flash Baloney! Go! Come on, Speedy! Go, Braveheart! But it's incredible. Flash Baloney just slipped, and it's not a snail. It's a centipede! Marcel Big Arms and Gertrude Longneck have cheated. You two are disqualified for cheating! You're out! And Speedy is the winner, with Braveheart right behind him in second place. 
and it looks like Gino's snail bubblegum will get third for trying hard, even though he didn't finish. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Pretty right! There they are, Merton! Get their picture! We'll send it to all the snail race organizers everywhere! Say cheese! And now you can go get some pictures of the winner! These must be more of Trippy's children. They sure look a lot like Trippy. <laughs> look, Ellie. <laughs> Here's one for you to race next year. She has a shooting star on her side. She's beautiful. I'm going to call her Shooting Star. Super thanks, Gofred. I bet she wins next year. And here's Flash Baloney. Who cares if he's a centipede? He'll like living in my garden. And he can use his old snail shell as a house when he wants. He likes it. Great! Now let's make them some lettuce and spinach smoothies, and we'll have some too. Great idea! Yeah! Here's your 